They raised hurt sometimes, despite knowing that a person is not right for us and that we need to let go of them to protect our own peace. We still delay doing this. We still keep pushing it for another day. And it's because every time we get close to ending things, we wonder whether we are being too quick in dismissing this relationship, whether we have given this person enough chances, whether we'll end up recreating the decision and whether we will be able to move on with our life without them. It's scary to let go of someone you have feelings for and a history with birth. If they are hurting you repeatedly without showing any signs of change, then you need to accept your behavior for what it is. You have to go through with the decision of wanting better than the way they are treating you and you have to stick by your side, even when a small part of you doubts your worth and tries to talk you into staying. Do you know that, more than losing the people we love, Perhaps we fear having to unrelate with the feeling of loving someone altogether because living without the sound of someone's laughter also means learning to live with the noise inside ourselves living and accepting that it exists that it always has that we just did not hear it enough. Maybe we have always associated love with an idea of performance, so much debt. It takes as little as a broken promise to reason losing faith in it. But here is the thing, no matter how hard we try, we can hardly get ourselves to lose faith in it. And that is exactly what loves mean to have a faith to believe that we will be found by it to believe that we have designed to eat. Because what is the purpose of life? Really, if not learning, to give all our love away without having to die without it, it is nodes of people, we love that we fear living without. It is the love we carry for them that we fear living alone with someone is coming in your life again. Someone who had hurt you in the past is understanding what it felt like. The person is now understanding what they lost in their life. I see the energy of this person wanting to communicate and talk to you. This person has had a major thunderbolt kind of an event in their life. You could already be sensing this energy. This person seems to be all over the place right now. I feel this person is thinking of ways to communicate and start over. It's like I see a divine push from the universe on them. This person has been dreaming very often about you. I see that they feel restless and they go through anxiety because of what happened between now. Two of you, this person now somehow wants to be here earlier. Maybe they did not communicate and now they want to talk, but I see it's so difficult for them to do this. The third eye of vision is blocked due to the emotional upheaval they are going through right now. Majorly, the energy of regret is very difficult to deal with for them. You gradually have healed yourself from this. You are open and are okay to let the universe bring in what is best for you continue to be in this energy dispersion energy could also affect you in some way. Dear know that. It's time to put the past behind you now. You have experienced some tough times, but it's behind you now and it's time for you to move forward to let any pain go and step toward something much more fulfilling for you. You are on the path to greater happiness and you are called to surrender yourself to the divine plan for your life. You are not going to face what you did before you don't need any more lessons. You just need to believe in yourself, foreign. This is the path to victory and you will have to make some choices regarding some opportunities in front of you. There are various paths open to you, but you should focus your energies towards spotlights you up. What spring out the passion and spark in you who brings out your passion and fills you with joy. Wildest life is not always fun and games by having people around who bring this out in you and doing things that brings this out in you. It makes the harder times more bearable and the good times more fun. Remember the spiritual lessons you have learned as you are ready now to put all that into practice. You may have come across a whole array of teachers, some good, some not, but in all of this you have found your way. 
you have the knowledge to be your own greatest teacher. As you hold all you need inside of you, the universe has downloaded so much wisdom. All you need to do is step into it. The universe asks that you surrender now to your divine plan. Let go of any control you feel you might need regarding this and follow the guidance you have been given with total trust and that this is for your highest good. It's time to collaborate. This may be with your divine feminine and building a future together. It may be a creative project you want to work on or something else. You know deep down what this is be loyal to what you love to, who you love and you will be rewarded. You will be rewarded with fulfillment satisfaction and you will receive the love back for what you give out. Dear know that you should never regret going after what makes your heart happy even if it has ended in heart. You should feel so beyond proud of yourself for being brave enough to chase what makes you feel alive. There are some people out there who are too affair to chase their dreams, who admire that strength in you. You should always feel proud of yourself for knowing what you want and taking steps to obtain it. So, I hope you never regret anything. That became such an important part of your journey of finding happiness and discovering who you are as a person. Type your feelings below. If you have trust in universe and if you agree with this message then type amen to fulfill your all wishes come true. If you are interested in this type of contents then please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for any future notifications. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful and magical rest of your day and I will talk to you again in the next video. Till then take care of yourself your family and of course your society also. Thank you for watching.